Dan Dong Airfield is under attack from a formation of B-29s. It is now up to the MiG-15s to intercept and destroy these bombers once and for all, pushing the Allies back out of the country. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Bristol's channel. And today we are playing some MiG Alley. Now this game has been requested, so here it is. Very fun game. Let's get straight to it. So we start off the missions by taking out these prop aircrafts after destroying the A26B formation. Uh, and the prop aircraft's not too hard, just shoot them a little bit and they go down. When it comes down to the Sabres, it's a little bit tougher uh, because they pull some pretty incredible G maneuvers without blacking out or I don't even know how they do it, but they do it. But um, here's just some perfectly nice shots, just some cinematic scenes of me taking these things down to the ground. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just what I'm doing. This guy's going to get hit with 37mm, blowing him up to bits. But um, I think I might stream this game, do an event with it, because this game would actually be really fun to do an event with. I'm quite curious to see how that would work out. So if you guys have this game and want to do an event with it, let me know down in the comments below. I at least need maybe four people with the game, five, four or five people with the game, to do some kind of thing with it, but we'll see. Now this is where things get tough, guys. We got some F-86 Saber Cats and a formation of B-29, and I'm all by myself here. So we gotta take all these guys out, and it's gonna be tough because we got limited ammo, and they're AI, basically. And AI is very, very weird in this game. They're, they, they can pull really insane maneuvers, like 14G turns. It's really weird, so yeah. Anyways, I tried taking out this B-29 right here, but I missed most of my shots here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try turning around, but at a high altitude, this thing does not turn really well. Most planes don't turn really well. And I got three Saber Cats just pulling with me. Like, like I'm pulling as hard as I can, and they're just keeping up, and it's really bugging me right now. So I'm like putting this thing to like throttle, and I'm just trying to get this thing on the B-29-6, because I have a feeling those F-86 won't really hit me. But then they start lighting up the sky, like a lot of bullets just start going. So I try evading. But they haven't hit me yet, so I'm kind of banking off they won't. Um, I'm actually more worried about those B-29s, because their back gunners are killer. They don't miss, and you'll, you'll see, they'll light up the sky just as well as the F-86 as well. So I'm starting to take some shots, I'm trying to line up my sight here. As you can see, it's a little bit tricky to get that lead, but your sight kind of helps, I don't know, it's like half the time in, in the game you're shooting without that little uh, aim circle being there so it's a little bit tough right here i just go ahead and spam fire taking them out because i'm not risking getting shot up i did get hit a little bit it's kind of affected my performance by quite a lot actually uh to the point where i'm basically going down and as you can imagine i go down so i go ahead and bail out right here because this is the plane is pretty much destroyed it, it, it can't move anymore so you know just bail out and just spawn back in and try it all over again Better yet, just try not to get hit because even a small amount of rounds will just disable your plane. So right now there's another bomber. I'm going to try taking him out with my 37 mils. And obviously that's going to work out pretty well because these things devastate bombers. So I got to pull up. I get hit a little bit, I think, but it wasn't enough to really just mess up my plane. But it definitely messed up his plane. So although all the bombers have been destroyed and the mission has been accomplished, there are still some sabers left and I decide we got to take them out. So I'm getting an angle on this guy, which honestly happened after like 10 minutes of just twisting and just letting him be on my ally 6, because if he's on my 6, he's going to start pulling some crazy maneuvers. And so I shoot him enough to where he just gets disabled and goes ahead and just bails out. Smart guy, because otherwise he'd have just crashed into the ground, because what the, that's, all, that's all that really happens when he gets shot, so yeah. Um, so he's going to go ahead and just crash into the ground, I'm going to go ahead and watch it, because that was a very, very exciting kill for me, because these things are like, hard to kill. So after another 10 minutes of twisting and turning, we're now on this guy's 6 o'clock, and we got a pretty nice shot of uh, him right now. So I'm going to pull up as tight as I can, my dude's blacking out, and I get the kill. Super epic kill for me, and he's just shooting up like a jet, I'm just going to stall out, hit the ground, blow up again, very nice. It's a new day, another mission, and we got some B-29s heading towards us with an F-86 Saber Escort. Now, this is when it gets really tough, guys, uh, especially when time is limited because it's about to turn nighttime. Right now, the time's about like 4.30, not 4.30, 5.30, and there's actually a clock on this plane, which I found very interesting. 
Uh, I didn't expect there to be one, and if there was one, I didn't expect it to work. But it actually works in this game, which is actually quite amazing, so I was quite excited about that. So I'm just watching the clock, um, but more importantly, I'm watching the sky and those tracers above me because I don't want it to get dark on me here and not be able to see these guys, and also I don't want to get hit by those. Now, these dudes, the B-29s, they, they don't miss, so you gotta be very careful. You actually gotta use tactics to take them out. You can't just be like on their six and wings of duty and just shoot them out, because even the small amount of fire will just kill you in this game. Because you gotta remember, these are jets, and every part of the plane is very important, so they're not really armored through light, you know, you can't, you can't really take hits in these things. Uh, so anyways, I'm trying to get on this dude's uh, 6 right here, I'm trying to speed up a little bit, but I don't want to, like, over-G myself, so I'm keeping my speed relatively slow, but we actually got a really nice angle on that guy, and just lit him up right there with our 37 mils, and he just fell out of the sky. Now we're going to do the same thing to this guy over here, except we're not at the perfect uh, firing position, because he's going to start returning fire, which will be very devastating, especially if he hits us, and I'm trying to land these shots right here, but I just kept missing at the last part or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and dive down, pull up, and he's shooting, and I'm going to get hit just enough to really mess things up. And then now I'm on the third guy, but it, yeah, it, I'm, I'm hit pretty bad, so it doesn't look like it's going to be happening. Um, but I'm still, I think I'm still able to control the plane here for a bit, but I think it's either an F-86 that gets me or this B-29, but something hits me, and I it just ruins everything, it's like right here. I can't tell, I think it was the B-29, but you never know. So anyways, that's going to knock me out of the sky, and uh, that kind of sucked, because there's one bomber left, and I mean, you got to really hurry up, because if those bombers make it to the base, then you actually lose the mission, you got to redo the whole thing, and that's like another 30 minutes. Maybe not 30 minutes, but it's like another, you had 15 minutes, so, yeah, I'm going to just bail out. Now, if things weren't bad enough, that dude really just made it worse, because my elevator is gone at this point. And so is everything else on the plane. Actually, I don't have any control whatsoever. The only thing that still works is the rudder. But the rudder really doesn't even do anything in this game, so nothing really works. You just bail out like I said earlier. But these guys are back on my six, which is rather unfortunate. So I'm gonna just climb up here a bit because the MiG-21 can actually outclimb the F-86. The MiG is actually a lot. It's not even a MiG-21. It's a MiG-15, guys. Anyways, the MiG-15 can seriously outclimb these things. Like they'll, they'll go to the point where they'll stall out. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing what I did here, but well, I mean I would, but like don't don't pull down so early. Uh, I would have kept going up actually a little bit more if I could have and then pull down. Only thing is you don't want to stall out because if you stall out you're going to hit the ground. Pretty much guaranteed. Uh, sometimes you can get out of the stall but it's really tough sometimes and others you just, you just don't stand a chance really. So don't, don't stall out but try to get as high as you can so when they do stall out for the F-86 Sabres when they stall out you can easily just get them because they usually just won't crash into the ground. But I've seen it before they've stalled out and just crashed into the ground. But usually it's just a result of damage, or they really just can't climb with you, or something like that crazy. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to try to get on this dude's 6 right here, and it looks like I got somewhat of an angle. He's stalling out pretty hard right now, but then he's going to go ahead and get out of it. And that puts us at a good position on a 6 o'clock, but right here he's going to start, go ahead and just pull some like 14G, 21G turn, I don't know guys. Anyways, it's something that I couldn't pull, but I'm pulling it right here, kind of, but not really enough to just like finish him off right then and there and he's just gonna pull some kind of reverse maneuver tactic thing I've never seen and he's on my six again and I'm trying to get this guy right here um, but if you guys are wondering like why this game is like this it's because it's, it's still in development they they're not working on this game yet it's just out there right now so if you do plan to get this game just know it's not a finished product but you do get like 12 missions and I really only count 14 of them as fun missions because one of them is just like a tutorial mission. But we're going to take out the F-86 right there. Felt really nice to just take him out. Then we still got one guy left over here. But uh, back to what I was talking about earlier. 
when they do work on this game after Wings of Duty, which is what they said, uh, you can expect more missions and probably a pretty nice multiplayer. But we'll see, guys. We'll see. This is probably the next gunship game. I'm not too sure, though. Anyways, I'm on this F-86-6 right now, and I think I can get him right here. I mean, like, I'm, like, right there. This is close range. It's definitely within, like, good shot range. But now he's actually pulling out a little bit, which will make the shots a little bit tougher to land, but he's still in a good range for me to actually start shooting at. I'm going to go ahead and miss there a little bit, but it's all right, because I'm not going to miss here. So I started lighting up again, and there's some good hits. He's going to go ahead and bail out, but because he was the last plane, I go ahead and just go for the overkill. Set that thing on fire, have it crash into the ground so I can watch it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you want to see some more Big Alley, let me know. Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably want to see the F-86 Saber, so if you want to see that, give this video a like and let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys really enjoy this game, we're going to go ahead and do a Dogfights versus on it. So, yeah, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll see you guys next time on the Bros Films channel. Take care, bye-bye, and Jeanette from the Bros Films channel, signing off.